Hi, I'm Scott Walker. Welcome to Cultural Geography. I memorize every country in the world, its capital, every river in that country, their major exports, their major imports, their political leaders, their government systems, and God knows what else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Over the next few weeks, we're going to study cultural geography, which is a subset of geography. If you take a look at the graphic at the bottom of this web page, you'll find that I've divided geography up into a couple of different groups. Human geography, physical geography, integrated geography, and applied geography. We'll take a look at human geography and the subsets of political, economic, demographics, religious, and just culture in general. I'm Scott Walker. I'm a geographer, a professor, and a traveler. And I'm taking you on a geographic journey. The science of geography is likely the oldest of the sciences. Geography answers the question, what's over there? One of the earliest and ultimate questions from human beings. The basis of geography has always been exploration of new places and new cultures. If you'd have grown up in the late 1800s, you would have studied geography instead of science, likely in high school. Science, or geography, rather, was more important or considered more important than science because it encompasses everything. In this class, we're going to study a broad spectrum of human geography called cultural geography. That includes religion, the study of religion, uh, ethnicity, demographics, and what is culture in general. What's over there? Bring the camera back over here. Damn it. What's over there? <laughs> here. <laughs> if you would have grown up in the late 1800s, you wouldn't have studied sciences. Sciences for geeks. Geography answers the question, what's over there?